Hey guys, Anthony from Go Industrial here. We get questions from time to time from guys who are having troubles priming or spraying with their Magnum units. The most recent call I had from a customer was a customer was on site, he was spraying fine, he went to switch the paint, primed it through, it primed fine, but then when he was spraying, it wouldn't actually build and hold pressure, it was just running continuously. So he tried repriming it, tried flushing it out, priming with water, again, no help. Even tried pushing the little button on the side while priming, still no help. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna be pulling apart the inlet valve and the outlet valve, and we're gonna be troubleshooting a couple of issues that you might find with them. This tip will work for your Project Plus, your X5 and your X7. The Pro X range is similar, but a little bit different. So stay tuned for a video on that. So let's jump into it. We've got our X5 unit here. And what do we need to get this done? Today, I've got a socket wrench and I've got a 22 mil socket and a 16 mil socket. If all you go inside is a shifter, that's gonna be fine. It doesn't matter. We've got a pin punch. It doesn't have to be a pin punch. You could use a skinny screwdriver or anything like the sort. It just needs to be long and quite narrow. So that way you can put the spring over it and line it up, but we'll get to that. So the first step is we're gonna be putting our 16 mil socket on and we're just gonna be taking out this outlet valve here. Don't undo it all the way, just until it's loose enough to get it off with your hands. I should note here as well to make sure that you've evacuated the pressure in the line and that the unit's unplugged, just so you don't injure yourself. Cool, we've got the outlet valve out and we can inspect this one. You'll notice that you have a seal on the unit here and then inside of this section here, you'll have a spring and also a ball and what happens is the ball will move up and down on the spring and allow fluid to flow through. So if you've got any blockages or anything like that, um, that can definitely stop the fluid from flowing through and you'll typically notice it either around these sections here or around this section here and sometimes in this section here. What we wanna do is we just wanna give this a good clean up and also in there. Once you've done cleaning it, then what we can do is just screw it back in so you just want to find the thread, hand tight. And you don't need to over tighten it just till it's firm and that's it. So the next step is we're going to put in our 22 mil socket. We're going to take the suction and drain tube off. So you've got these two clamps here, just pinch them and pull them down and then wiggle them off. Just like that. These two will come off like that. We can put them aside. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna lay down the unit. So the next step is we're gonna unscrew this inlet valve here. And so we've got our socket and we're just gonna put that over the top there. And we're just gonna loosen that off. You wanna make sure with this one that you don't actually unscrew it all the way because the components inside will come out and they're very small, you will lose them. We just wanna be delicate when unscrewing this section just to make sure that the ball and spring don't come out. So you'll notice on here that we have an O-ring and then on this side we have a flat section which is commonly known as the seat. So basically what happens when your pump is running, the ball will sit on this section and it'll move up and down and it'll seal on this seat here. So if you've sucked up any paint debris, it may get caught in here and it will basically not allow the ball to sit flush and it won't seal and fluid will go back down. You're not gonna be able to prime or spray. Secondly, what could happen is the ball might actually get some paint skin on it if you've left it sit for a few minutes or if it's a really hot day and it may not run. The next step is we're gonna get the ball and spring out of this section here. So using our pin punch, we just wanna get in there ever so gently and make sure you don't lose it. So you can see here, you've got the spring and you've got the ball. Now in the case of the customer that called recently, what had actually happened was the spring had moved sideways and so it wasn't actually compressing the ball onto the seat. So what you need is it needs to be sitting this way, basically putting pressure on the ball, sitting it against the seat. As I mentioned before, if you have paint skin or a little bit of debris caught in there, typically you can free it up by just pressing the button on the side here. I'm actually gonna show you what the button on the side here does inside the pump. So when you press it, you can see the little pin that comes through 
and it basically just nudges the ball and allows it to flow freely again. Super simple, but super smart. Cool, so now that we've got all this cleaned up and we've got it free from debris, both on these sections and also inside the pump section here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting it back together. You wanna get your pin punch, which I mentioned earlier, and your spring, and we're just gonna put it through like that. And all this does is it allows us to put it into the pump and line it up with basically ease. So let's go. So we're just gonna basically put it into this section here and we're just gonna feed it down the pin punch, just wiggle it down. Just make sure it's nice and straight and it doesn't spin. Now that we've got this section in there and it's facing the right way, we're gonna come in with the ball and just nice and gently, we're gonna poke it up to it. Just make sure you're really gentle when you do this just so it doesn't you know, spring back at you and you lose the ball. Then we're gonna get the inlet section and we're just gonna screw this on. Again, be very gentle when you're screwing this on just so you don't bump it. You might shift the spring and end up putting it sideways again. We're just gentle until we get some compression. And then with our shifter, just finish it off. And again, doesn't have to be too tight, just firm. And that's it. So we can stand the unit back up now and reattach our tubes. So we get the drain tube and we'll wiggle that on there, get our clamp, put that over the top. Suction tube, wiggle that on and clamp over the top and perfect. Now you can do some testing. Just quickly though, good thing to note is that through that process, I'd recommend when you start it up and you're priming, just hit the button a couple of times just to make sure that everything's settled in and sitting flush. Cool guys, thanks for watching, hope that helped. If you've got any other recommendations or anything else that you need help with, comment it below, we'd love to help out. If this tip didn't help for you, then get in contact, we're always happy to help and talk you through any issues that might happen. Happy spraying guys.